And we're back. Woo. Game does play games. Plays Nuclear Throne. <laughs> it's the most <laughs> formal opening. We I have know, had. right? Uh, so this is second episode of Nuclear Throne, and uh, right now we're picking our ability for our character melting. Uh, my second favorite character in the game, also the one I am probably second worst with. My favorite character being the one I am worst with. I, I don't. Just pick your, pick I'm your just. Ability. What I'm just saying is, I'm bad at this game, and the worse I am, the more I love it, and it doesn't make any sense. Okay, so cool. Because my you like are, challenging games. I do. Is really what it comes down to. Masochist. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. So we have homing bolts, right? Which is awesome because I have a crossbow. Uh, we have more HP and ammo drops, which, have, as we discussed, kind of useless since I only have two hit points. Yeah. And then uh, most hit, hit bullets become ammo. Always a good thing. Usually, if I if I had just like a whole bunch of abilities that weren't good this would be definitely the best one and, and then I, I love this the art guy. on that ability too, it is so good one. it Just is like, so good cool. we'll bullets. talk about the art on that in a second <laughs> uh finally boiling veins no damage from explosions or fire went under four hit points now what you don't know if you haven't played nuclear throne is i'm about to go into a stage where this is the perfect ability for the perfect character unless this this stage has changed this I, is the first time we've been in stage three i can hear the music so i know it hasn't but yes <laughs> I love this game. Okay, so uh, <laughs> theming wise, right? This is Nuclear Throne. You're playing a bunch of like demon or demons. What am I saying? You're playing mutants. a bunch of mutants yeah. who have all these abilities that that are that change them in the weirdest and ways. This, like post-apocalyptic nuclear setting that makes no sense, but the theme is hilariously mm -hmm. awesome. It's like Mad Max um, on Super Crack. And super crack is a mutant ability. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you know homing bolts, uh, whatever. But like he's carrying him, rabbit paw. Yeah, you know, that's kind of cute and everything. Recycle gland. It's literally a gland that produces more bullets because a gland in your mouth, no less. <laughs> it's insane, and this guy literally has boiling veins. So yeah, that's the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one, but I just wanted to point out that the theming on the abilities is hilariously awesome. I mean, the theming of the game in, in perfect or in in general is pretty perfect. I think like it has just enough goof and charm, and like you really see it come across in the abilities Ugh. because you're, you're you're mutating your own characters to have these crazy weird abilities. And since you're already horrifying and I don't know, oh, oh, and since you're already horrifying, deformed like creatures or organisms, it just it feels right. It does it. feel right. I mean, let alone you're leveling up because you're collecting rads, which are these nuclear little like nuclear. Radiation. Yeah. Stop giving me the goddamn screwdriver, Jesus. The screwdriver is. is Intentionally the worst of the melee weapons, right? Or is it? I mean, you. It is. It's it fast, is definitely. Right? Oh no! Oh no! No, it is fast. Yes, uh, but its speed does not make up for the fact that after like the third world or whatever, you're not killing things in one hit with any. Actually, starting now, uh, you wouldn't be killing these uh, these guys with the screwdriver in one hit. Unless you really amped up your melee abilities. Oh, that was an assassin. Oh, I could have died awesome. right there. There's another guy right there. I think I just murdered him. Yeah, I think the screwdriver... What? No. So the assassins are guys that, like... I'm pretty sure he should have just died come... there. Oh, yeah, they, they they pretend like they're dead, and then they stand up. Did I oh. just not kill everybody? Oh, oh, there's the guy. Oh, you son of... <laughs> oh, stop it. Do you think this game would have benefited from having, like, a, an enemy counter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't use that at all. Uh, Yeah, actually, because it's not a matter of trying to go out around finding your enemies it's a matter of killing them all knowing oh my Ooh. there you go but i mean that's the thing right like if you knew that there was only one enemy left would you be less cautious do you think that would negatively impact the game experience uh no because you when when all the enemies like are like when when, when the stage is already low on enemies anyway you start to you throw caution know. to the wind. Yeah. And in stages like this where these assassins exist, you... St uh, yeah. How have I lived through everything? Uh, uh, in a you, stage should, you should use your explodey ability. I just did. With those new bodies? No, I thought it was going to blow up the car. I've come to find in this stage it's generally better to explode the vehicles before you even start getting close to it because that is number one... Uh, or most often the reason is that, that the, I die. Oh, shit. I, is that the thing that if you break it, the, like, 
space squad yep. comes and, and what wrecks is that? You. Oh my god, you're kidding me. A flamethrower? Double flame shotgun? Oh, I gotta do it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. glad that the enemies can't break that I artifact think they thing. Can, or at least. Oh, there you go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wow. You're, I mean, you're doing shockingly good, though. Can I. Despite the circumstances. Do they. Oh. So I think what's supposed to happen is the rads go into it and generate it and open up the throne. What? Yeah. What? Wait, yeah. that's how you get to the throne? Uh, that is how you get to... Uh... Oh, crap, they're looking for me. Uh, that's how you get to, uh, like, the throne room that allows you to choose a crown. But it's not, oh. the, it's not the throne. It's a... Uh... Jesus. Oh. Yeah, I think I've only ever seen that once, and that was way, way back when they were they definitely still Already? In beta. Here? Oh, there he is. Yeah, man, you're in world... 3-3. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would be for my like, <laughs> third playthrough. I remember this guy. Oh, double shot. Fire gun. I, uh, I can't uh, recall it's so I've good. ever done It's so good. good. Get away from me. Wow. <sighs> well, you're still technically immune from explosions, right? Uh, yes. So that actually, whoa. Laser rifle. Ooh, yeah, baby. Goodbye, you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, laser weapons oh, are yeah. always so satisfying. Oh, minigun? You're killing me here, Smalls. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I think you're I have to really get rid good of luck with weapons. Gun, actually, I don't know. It depends if I get more ammo. There's no more around here. Speaking of which, I really like their ammo interface. Oh, how they yeah. have just the five icons it's there, right and it's here. like it fills up with color as basic as, ammunition, shotgun ammunition. It's, it's just such. You like, don't need to have like the numbers. You just kind of like know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's really nice. It's a really intuitive and. In intuitive way to show you how much ammo you have um, but the reason I think from a design perspective it's actually really intelligent is because as human beings we interpret images a lot faster than we interpret text and numbers are text um, oh, that makes a lot of sense actually so we can even oh. kind of tell in our peripherals too like if just like take a wild guess at how well you're doing oh no, no yeah no. if you glance at any one of those ammunition icons you kind of get a, a perception of how much you have for each of them just you, like immediately you used to throw ammo like weapons when you pick one up you used to throw another one and it gets sucked into the void and you can like throw weapons to take <laughs> do they just you. stay in place now? now they stay in place and i can't like go uh, go go no that, all right it seems like a well, very intentional choice on their yeah, part yeah i understand that. why they did that okay what should i pick here then minigun uh, rifle or fire shotgun, like out of these three, well, what should definitely I have? keep the laser rifle because you have a lot of ammo for that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, what's the other one? I I think you should keep that double shotgun. That thing rocked. That it boss. has been pretty awesome. Okay, cool. We'll do yeah, that. Ditch, I'm probably gonna regret minigun. not taking the minigun over the rifle. I, I don't know, man. The minigun. It, that's right, one of the go. ones that have that that wind up to actually start shooting, right? Yeah, but it's oh, thank you, thrown butt. Mm, okay, so <laughs> shotgun shoulders, uh, shells bounce farther. Uh. Oh, it used to be the ability to where when uh, there used to be ability that your shells would hurt enemies around you. I guess that they just, oh wait, no, no I'm thinking of something else. So shells bonds farther actually can be cool because it allows you to like ricochet shotgun shells off of walls and stuff. It's oh, actually pretty okay. cool. Yeah. I uh, think the wording is kind of over. confusing there then because so they don't normally bolts. bounce, right? They, uh... I think they? they do, but like ever so slightly. Oh, it's, okay. it's just enough to where it really doesn't matter too much, but that ability makes them worth it. Okay, then then I, I'm wrong, and the wording is fine. Uh, so slower enemy bullets, though, uh, versus thrown butt. I gotta go with the thrown butt. Melting, melting bigger corpse. Oh, hell yeah! This is the one that you want. When you're playing melting, if at any point... Whoa! If at any point you're given that option, you choose it. Whoa! And that's that. Well... Hey, I got planned. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I never got to show you the explosions. Oh. Uh, they take up, like, the explosions go from little to taking up about a quarter of the screen per explosion. It just gets out of hand. So you rack up the bodies, and then, like, a big guy comes in, he's like, hey, and you just press the button once, yeah. and then everything dies. It, it steamrolls really it well, It steamrolls because it kills the next thing, and then mm -hmm. you blow that up, and then you blow that up. It's awesome. I think that is why I like melting. That is, that it's that like ability. Most, Without that yeah. ability, is kind of meh, but once you get that ability, I'm surprised I got as far as I did, actually. That yeah. was pretty cool. Melting, melting, I think, is a really good example of a risk-reward type of character because it's very hard to get example. to that point where you get the abilities where you're like, 
I am an indestructible beast. It's awesome too because uh, with that rather a destroyable reward, monster, but or, mm-hmm. or destructo everything. Yeah, you know words. I, I could be wrong recently, but back in the day when those people would talk about their loops and how well they would do, none of them used melting. Like they were like, I can get through. They would say like, I can get through a few loops with melting, but the game eventually gets to the point where there's just so many goddamn straight bullets that do so much damage, uh, you can't play him anymore. That makes but, sense. Obviously, going with that risk reward system, he is technically the best character in terms of like highest ceiling. Mm-hmm. Uh, but later on in the game, the amount of it, him getting extra reds doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, that makes as sense. much at least. I think that there is still a reward, even if you're not getting ability, you can use the reds for something else. Hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, so getting the reds doesn't help as much anymore. But the melt, the explosion ability, man, it's just awesome. So uh, anyway, that's that's uh, that character, and we can move on to another one. Uh, I think I actually got two characters this time. Plant. Yeah, you got plant and eyes. Eyes. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I, I never cared too much for eyes. What does he do? See in the dark better? Uh, well, he might have changed actually. Let's check him out. Because last time eyes uh, sees in the dark and telekinesis. So the. That's right. I don't. I, I could never quite figure out exactly how to use him, but his abilities were useful in some regards. I mean, they make those really tough stages a little bit easier, but like mm-hmm. this, the sewers, and then the level you just died in. Um, uh, later on, too. There's uh, there's stages later on where it's complete pitch black. Oh, okay. And he his ability is it just totally negates that. So he's actually a late game character. Yeah, I was gonna say he's better for the long term then. Mm-hmm. His telekinesis is strange because what it does is. It makes all bullets like split away from you, mm. uh, but it also draws all the enemies closer to you. So it's like, it's weird. Cause he kind of has like a pseudo tele, like he has well, force field in a way, but he also draws enemies closer to him. Or at least he used to. That might have changed, but uh, that's why it was like you'd always kill yourself by drawing enemies into you by accident. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I think that's all we have for this episode. Yeah. Uh, um, question of the day. Uh, I think my question is, what do you guys think about um, Melting and, and the fact that he may not be one of the best characters for, like, that the, high the, the looping, um, but is has the higher ceiling? Do you think that, that, from a design perspective, do you think that it's a good kind of character to have in a game like this, or should all characters be balanced in a way that they can handle the looping? Yeah. Um, um, also... Am I wrong about that? Yeah. If you played this game and you're like, dude, you're an idiot. Melting is definitely the only way to do it. Let me know and explain why. That'd be awesome. But, yeah. uh, I love melting. So good. I can't wait till we get the bandit or whatever her name is. I'm all about the chicken. Uh, I mean, the chicken's awesome, but <laughs> you'll see. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.